Verifying CloudB CI container images using Cosign. Starting with CloudB CI 2.332.1.4, the container images are now published with a signature. That means now you're able to verify their origin and authenticity. In this video, we're going to walk through the step-by-step -step process in order how to do that. For CloudB CI, we have container images published for both the traditional platforms and for modern cloud platforms. We're going to be starting out with how to verify the images for traditional platforms. The links to all the documentation that we're going to be going over are down in the description. And if we take a look right now at this how to verify the Cloud BCI for traditional platform container images, what we can see here is we have two different images that are available with traditional. We have CloudBees, CloudBees Core OC, and CloudBees, CloudBees Core CM. And the tool that we're going to be using to verify these images is Cosign. And the link to Cosign is down in this documentation. And taking a look at the Cosign installation documentation for Linux and Mac OS binaries, you can go over and look at the GitHub release assets. And at the time of recording, the most recent release is 1.6.0. And I already have Cosign installed on my machine. And if I take a look at it, it is Cosign 1.6.0, which is the same as what's currently available. Now let's go back over to our documentation for Cloud BCI. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to provide a public key in order to do the verification of these images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just copy the value of this public key I'm going to create a new file called cloudbees.key. I'll go ahead and paste that in. And now that part of it is ready to go. Going back to the documentation, we're going to run our command, cosign verify, dash key will provide the key that we just created, and we'll look up whatever the version is of the image that we want to verify. Now in this example, we're saying CloudBees, CloudBees Core MM, which is actually for modern cloud platforms, and then whatever version that we want to validate. Once we run Cosign, if the return code is zero, that means it was successfully validated. If it's any other return code other than zero, then that means there was a failure to validate. Now, what's the right way to go and find the images that we want to validate? Well, at the top, because we are currently tracking against our traditional platform, we have two images. We have CloudBees Core OC and CloudBees Core CM. Let's go over to Docker Hub and let's just search for that image. Okay, we found that. And then here, if we click over to tags, we can see all of the different tags that we have available to us. The most recent version is 2.332.1.5, which was a security release for 2.332.1.4. So we'll do a quick verification for this 1.4 release first. So let's go back over to our shell and let's run this dot four. But you'll notice right now that I have not included the public key and that's on purpose. I want you to see what happens when we don't provide all of the things necessary to do the verification. So when we hit enter, we can see here that it's complaining that we either need to specify a key or a hardware token. And that's fine. That's what we expect. But if I go ahead and type echo dollar sign question mark, we can see that there is a one. So the status code coming back is a one. We didn't specify the public key. So that's what I would expect because I didn't give it all the right answers. So I would expect a failure at this point. So now let's go ahead and update this to include our key. And I'm just going to put the key at the end. You could put it up towards the front, put it at the back. I found that either way, both works. So cloudbees.key. And what it's doing is it's validating the signature using the public key. And what we can see here is that the following checks were performed on each of these signatures. So it's verifying against that image. I don't have the image local. The cosine claims were validated. That tells me that it is true that everything passed. The signatures were verified against the specified public key. Again, verifying that everything is signed correctly. And then you get this JSON blob showing up at the bottom. It just gives you some information. Don't be scared of the critical. It's just information for this output. So it's not a critical failure or anything related to that. It's just how this JSON blob is formatted. Now to verify that we were successful, what I want to do is do the dollar sign question mark again, and we can see our exit code 
is zero, which means that cosine verify passed successfully. Now, typically when you're getting ready to upgrade, in our case, we're talking about traditional, you're gonna be upgrading both the operation center and your controller images as well. So I could run cosine twice and run it once against the OC and then run it also against our CM image. But what I can do here, if I go back up, and I can actually go ahead and add in the image for the operation center because for the first time, I misspoke earlier, we were validating the image for the client controller, the CM image. But now let's go ahead and include the OC. And how did I find OC? Well, let's go back to our documentation. And at the top, we have our OC image and we have our client controller image, our CM image. So let's go back here. We can see I have cosine verify image for the CM, our key, and then the image for the OC. Let's see if this mixed version runs where I have the key sort of stuck in the middle. When I hit enter, what we're going to see is two verifications. We see one verification for CM, which was validated, and then it ran the verification for the OC, which was also validated. And if I go ahead and echo out my dollar sign question mark, I can still see that I have a zero. So what is the right way for you to do this? I think you can safely run it each image, which is probably what I would do. That way I can check the exit code for both of these in case one failed and one didn't. I'm not chasing down which one actually failed. Or if you're confident and you want to run them both at the same time, that's okay. But if there is a failure with one of them, you're gonna have to figure out, okay, which one was it that failed? And you have to look at the output. Now, up to this point, we've been taking a look at verifying the images for traditional platform. If you take a look at the documentation, again, down in the description, what you're going to see is a link off to the Cloud BCI on modern cloud platforms. And instead of it being Cloud B's Core CM and Cloud B's Core OC, it's now Cloud B's Cloud Core OC and Cloud B's Core MM. So these two images, Core OC and Core MM, are the images for modern cloud platforms. You would follow all the same steps that we just went through for traditional platform. You would just replace the images that you're verifying with these two images. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.